Hello designers, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool looking text fill effect in Adobe Photoshop. It is really simple, so let's go. So basically what we will use for this video and to create this um, sort of fill text effect is a work path. And what is a work path uh, is a good question. Um, just to make it short for this video, it's basically um, a selection. You know, if we use the pen tool here, for example, we can create a shape by clicking around here. And then by pressing T or using the text tool, we can see on the cursor how the icons changes. So basically we can write around, like on the work path, or with the circle, we can write inside of a work path. So if we copy this, you can see it is still inside of the work path. And we can also just change the, the text. We can make it smaller. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. And just copy it. Yeah, that's basically it. You can also, by using the direct stack tool, you can go here and change the work path, which is also really cool. But yeah, how do we use this for um, images and other stuff? Basically, we select a subject and then we create a work path. We convert it to a work path. So I downloaded, I downloaded this really cool picture of a tiger. We gonna, you can use anything for this, but just for this video. Um, we're gonna use the magic wand tool and click on select subject, right? This is basically going to be a work path. Now what I like to do is mask it, create a new layer, and then by press, pressing command, or I think on Windows control, you can see the square on your um, cursor. We can select the mask again, select or like, yeah, basically you select the selection again <laughs> and then hide the, the picture, uh, the image. And then right click inside of your selection. And here we can find uh, make work path. If you click that, we can see that we can choose a tolerance. And um, tolerance is basically one is um, uh, very detailed and 10 is very simplified. I mean, I can show you. If I use one, you can see a lot of anchor points. And if you go back and create a work path and choose 10, it's very, you know, um, simplified, very few anchor points. So we're going to use one. And now what we did before, we can use our text tool again and write inside of the work path. Okay. Duplicate it. Change the text, something like this. And now we can show our layer again. And then what I use is a threshold filter. You know, we clip it by pressing Alt, clip it to the image below. And you see this already looks really cool. And um, you can change the threshold uh, value here. You can see how, how it changes the image. I think something like this looks good. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. What I often like to do is select both layers. I duplicate them. I select the mask here. I press command I to invert it. So basically now it selects only the background. So we can basically have a small little background from the, from the image and change that as well. Yeah, something like this, right? And you can change your text here again and make it bigger. You know, you can duplicate it and move it slightly to give it a sort of bleed effect, I guess, something like this. There's a lot that you can do with this effect. And I think it's really cool. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just trying to give you an idea. Um, now it's up to you to make something really cool out of it. And yeah, I hope you like it. Please make sure to like and comment if you don't understand anything or if I use the shortcut that I didn't mention, I'll make sure to answer. And yeah, subscribe for more videos in the future and bye-bye.